Okay, hello Paxton. Um, we are missing a couple of classes today, um, but I know it's a very busy day in school with lots of things going on. Oh, let me just let Chestnut class in. Um, and I know some classes are together watching the assembly as well. So we will make a start just in case everyone is here. And if they're not here, we'll gradually let them in. So lots of certificates to get through today. So we'll start with our normal um, Head Teachers Awards certificates. So we're off to year one first. So a big well done to Desia for showing resilience in phonics to spell words correctly. Wonderful work, Desia. Keep it up. Well done to Jack for always being a good friend and showing the community value. Wow, year ones are demonstrating and upholding our values really well. Well done, Jack. A big well done to Bluey for um, de um, demonstrating resilience in maths. Congratulations, Bluey. And to Harry for use of adventurous vocabulary in phonics. So all children in year one are upholding our values. Well done, year one. Let's give them a huge round of applause. Off to year two now. So we have Mitchell, who's demonstrated a great understanding of money in math. Well done, Mitchell. And to Teddy for great knowledge of the First World War in history. Congratulations, Teddy. And to Skylar for her caring nature. Oh, I'll just let one more class in. Here we go. So Skylar for her caring nature when another child was upset. Oh, Skylar, that's such a lovely thing to receive a certificate for. And to Harrison for an excellent medal design for Sergeant Stubby. Oh, I'd love to see that, Harrison. Keep it up. Let's give you two a huge round of applause. Well done, you two. Off to year three. So we have Sophie, who's working hard to improve her maths. Keep it up, Sophie. And Thomas, who's working hard on his spellings. Well done, Thomas. And there's quite a jump from year two to year three for the spellings, so keep it up. And we have Joe A, who's demonstrating our adventure value for working well in a team when making bows and arrows in forest school. Oh, wow, Joe. That sounds really quite interesting. And to Ruby, who's also upholding our adventure value for her work in geography, labelling mountains and volcanoes. Well done, Ruby. Let's give you three a huge round of applause. Well done, you three. Off to you four now. So we have Frankie, who's always trying her best in maths and showing resilience when tackling, um, when taking on a challenge, not tackling. So well done, Frankie. So clearly demonstrating resilience in your maths and always trying your best. We have Hannah, who's upholding the excellence value for producing consistently excellent writing, content and presentation. And that's no mean feat, Hannah, to be able to present your work really well, but also focus on the content of the writing as well. So well done. And Sienna for showing resilience and always trying her best. And I've seen Sienna a few times recently. And she should be so proud of herself for the progress she's making. And to Harvey for excellent presentation in all his learning. I have to say, Maple Class, your presentation is absolutely stunning. I saw some handwriting in there the other day and it was really, really impressive. Let's give you four a huge clap. Off to you five now. So we have Tommy in Chestnut for excellence in his diary entry as Macbeth. And I know how much year five are loving their learning at the moment about Macbeth. The writing coming out of those classes is wonderful. And congratulations to Sophie, uh, Sophia, sorry, in Chestnut for outstanding resilience in maths. Well done, Sophia. And we have a certificate here for Clara for an amazing vector drawing in her computing. And I did see some photos of Olive class in the ICT suite and it looked very interesting. And we have George for his fantastic leadership skills and making arrays using our peers. Oh, yes, I saw that lesson as well. I know lots of you went outside and um, undertook learning outside the classroom and you made arrays using various different objects you could find. So let's give you five a huge round of applause. Well done, year five. Off to year six. So we have Alfie H for contributing to classroom discussions purposefully. Keep it up, Alfie. And Ella F for excellence in her musical interpretation. Oh, I'd love to know what that was for, Ella. We have Jenny J for demonstrating excellence in her description of, Vict of a Victorian character. And we also have Alfie V for demonstrating excellence in his maths problem solving. 
And I've just been up to year six to see what they've been up to this afternoon. And there was lots of wonderful maths going on, really resilient children in there trying their best. So let's give year six a big clap. Well done, year six. OK, we have the attendance awards and the golden envelopes don't seem to have come back from my um, back to my office. So if you have the golden envelopes, please make sure you send them back so I can send them to the right class for this week. So the best attendance in the infant school goes to drum roll. Stop. Pine class with 95.9%. So well done, Pine class. I know we've had lots of poorly children in school in the last week, so the attendance is slightly down this week. But the best attendance in the junior school with a whopping 100%. So not one child was off last week. And considering all the germs that are going around at the moment, that's really impressive, goes to, drum roll, stop. Holly class, the Holly class are the winners of the attendance awards this week. So the golden envelopes will be coming your way, Holly class. Well done, that's amazing. And the tidiest classrooms this week go to, drum roll, stop. In the infant school, it goes to Oak class. And I know how impressed Mrs. Martin and Mrs. Chapman have been with Oak class, and Mr. Wordswold and Mrs. Hollington for keeping their classroom tidy, so well done. And the tidiest classrooms in the junior school goes to, drum roll, stop, year three, year three. I'd love to know how many of those you've won this year because that's quite amazing. Um, I have been round to a couple of classes this afternoon though to talk about cleanliness and tidiness, so I'm very much hoping that those classes can up their game a little bit and prove me wrong and receive the certificate next week. So we have house points now. So we've got Dover, Heaver, Rochester and Leeds. So in last place at the moment, in fourth place, with 1,620 house points, goes to, drum roll, stop. Heaver, so 1,620. So, Heaver, you've got a bit of work to do. Okay. In third place, it is very close between fourth and third, I have to say, with 1,670. Drum roll. Stop. Rochester. So, well done, Rochester. Third place, but we're only just above um, Heaver, so we need to keep trying. In second place, with 1,870 house points, goes to, drum roll, stop, Leeds. So that means in first place, with 2,240 points, and making quite a lead there, I have to admit, is Dover. So well done to Dover, doing really, really well. Now, the next certificates I want to hand out, I did say there's quite a few this week are the maths challenge certificates. So last week I had the pleasure in taking some selected year sixes to undertake the primary maths challenge. And this is something we've done for many, many years at Cuxton. And the reason it's called the primary maths challenge is because it is incredibly challenging. The questions are very difficult and they really make children and staff think outside the box. And lots of children participated, so I do have certificates for them. And then what I'm going to do is tell you the bronze, silver and gold winners. So children, if you did participate and you'd like to find out your actual score, you can come and find me at some point or I can head up to year six and I can give you your papers. If you don't want to find out your score, you don't have to. That's not a problem at all. So in no particular order, these children have received a, a certificate for taking the challenge. OK, so they're not necessarily bronze, silver or gold, but they had a good go and we're really proud of them for having an attempt. So well done to Mizzy, well done to Tyler, to Rose, to Alfie, to Dylan, to Poppy, Lola, Logan, Jenny, Valerie, Ava, Temeleo, Easy, Midi, so the other Midi, Mia, Matthew, Wandy, Alfie, Joseph, so the other Alfie, 
Sama, Millie, Alfie, the third Alfie in year six, and Maya. So big well done to those children. Give them a huge round of applause. Well done. So now in third place, so the winners, winners of the bronze award goes to Harley and Tristan. So well done, Harley and Tristan. You were the bronze award winners this year. So you um, achieved the third best score. So in silver place with the second best score in the year group goes to Stephen. Big well done to Stephen. Really, really proud of you. I know how excited you were about the primary maths challenge this year. And you should be really proud of your second, um, your silver award, sorry. So the winner this year, the primary maths challenge, and with a phenomenal score of 24 out of 25. And I was so excited because when I marked the, um, the test, I very quickly got in contact with Mr. Bilton and Mrs. Smith and Mrs. Carmen and Mr. Brett and said, you never believe this. This is the best score we've ever had at Cuxton. So I think a couple of years ago, I think we did have a 22. Um, last year we had a 21, but this year we've got a 24. So a huge well done to Grace in year six. Grace, your name has been put forward to the next round. I'm waiting to hear how that works, whether you have to go anywhere or whether it will be done virtually, but hopefully we'll hear quite soon. But a massive well done to Grace because 24 out of 25 is quite an amazing score. So huge well done. OK, last but not least, the Golden Book. And children, I took the Golden Book home on Friday to write some postcards over the weekend because there was lots to write. And I've come back to a huge amount of post-it notes on Mr Bilton's desk of all the children that need to go in the Golden Book. So I will be writing you in. Don't panic. Um, and I will read you out in a minute as well. So we have Soham and Sienna for Amazing Sounding Out. We have Fennec for Excellent Writing About Percy the Park Keeper. We have Charlotte, Myla, Ethan, Elsie and Lila um, in year one for excellent writing about Percy the Park Keeper too. We have Oscar in year four for having an amazing day all round. It was a phenomenal day. We have Tyler and Stanley in year six for amazing 2D and 3D constructions on the iPad. And now I'm going to go to the post-it notes. So we have Remy in year two, I had to think about that then, um, for fantastic presentation and story writing. We have Sophia in year two for amazing writing using her pencil grip. We have Samuel in year three for 10 out of 10 on his spellings. Wow, Sam, and I know that's not been easy for you, so that's a real improvement. We have Hannah, Daisy and Ted um, in year two, I presume, um, for writing about Lila's journey using fantastic description. We have, oh no, that would be year four, sorry, that would be year four, children. Um, we have Oliver in year three for writing some beautiful descriptive language in English. We have Paige and Tommy in year five for great diary writing in role as Macbeth and also Archie in year five for his Macbeth diary. We have um, Carly, <laughs> I think maybe year three, Carly, um, for lots of amazing stuff in her English book um, and she came up with her own ideas. And um, we also have Jacob, Alicia, Mia, Dolly, Israel and Desia in year one for great work subtracting numbers. I am very jealous that Mr. Bilton got to see all those children on Friday. He must have, been must have been incredibly busy to write all those names down for the Golden Book. So don't worry, children, I promise that I will write your names in and postcards will be coming your way. So have a wonderful week. Tomorrow we've got a special visitor in school who's coming to see the wonderful learning taking place. So please do share all that you are learning um, and make sure you remember our values and all the things that we've spoken about since September. OK, and I will speak to you soon. See you later. Bye.